Hey guys, did you know that 99% of the people who watch my videos are unsubscribed? So if you like my videos and want to see more content from me, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks, and enjoy the video. That's right. Today, we are doing something extra, extra, extra special. I have quite the surprise for all of you viewers. Today, we are starting a new Minecraft survival world. And you're probably saying, how long is this going to go for? Are you going to leave again? Well, I don't know. I just think the plan is to have some fun and to exactly find out what's going on. Okay, well, let's gather some resources. Let's get on our way. Let's try to... <gasps> oh, look at the spotted horses. And sheep. Oh, we need sheep. Now, I feel bad just rapidly punching sheep like this. I mean, look, look at them. They just... They just Ah, oh, it's, it's kind of grimy, isn't it? I was doing a bit of exploring, checking out all these different areas, just kind of rotating around a perimeter, and I don't know where to build, but I really, really like these mountains, and I kind of have an idea for them. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, oh. He's gone. Oh! Whoa. So, oh, there he is. I was about to say. That is so freaky. Oh my god. I might be able to. Oh, there we go. Thank you, thank you, very big. I'm sorry. He just keeps, keeps teleporting away. And I got a singular dirt block, not even, not even a grass block, just a singular dirt block is all I got. I might clear out some trees and I might sort of build our house here actually. I might have a little dock going off into here with a little nice boats. Oh, we could do so much here. I really like this area. Alrighty, so as you guys can see, I actually cleared out all of these trees here, and as well, I kind of did a little bit of this off-camera. I cleared out... Oh! Oh, this is very bad. Oh, this is very bad. This is very bad. Oh! oh. I... I just escaped! I don't know where that spider noise is coming from, but... Wow! Alright, so as you can see, what I was saying earlier before I was attacked, I cleared out a lot of these trees area, and I have a really good idea for what I want to do here. And I'm debating whether or not I want my base in this little pocket area or in here, because I have a really cool thing I want to do here. But I might make this all into maybe like farmland with different paths going across it into that cave over there, and maybe like a different path weaving its way into the dock. Ooh! Oh, there's so much to do, but... Hmm. Okay, guys, I think I just saw something that I think is going to change our entire game. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? There it is! Dog! <gasps> I only had one bone! Come on, buddy. Oh. You just want to stay over there, huh? Ooh. Can I turn this into... <gasps> I can. 
What should your name be, little friend? Huh. I'm thinking... Sir Rufus. There it is. All its glory, Sir Rufus's little signpost. Oh no. It is getting quite dark. Okay. He should get some more wool. And I think when I was clearing off the uh, trees here, I saw a couple of sheep. Yep. Oh, they're so high, though. Okay, we gotta punch him. I'm sorry, sheep. I'm sorry. Ah! Are you joking? I, I was just saying. Can I get away with this? Oh. Can I sleep over here? Yes. Yes, 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 come on. No, no, no. And that is how you successfully fall asleep. So I think I finally decided where I want my house. I really have a good idea for this. And I kind of want my house to be near it. So when people walk into my house and I'm walking after a mining trip, I get to go in through this little valley and to see these beautiful mountains and the sun and my house. So I think I've set it up so that my house should be about in this little crevice here. So, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to do a bit of a time lapse, but I've gotten my logs all from my chest, and I, I think I've gotten like over three stacks now, so that'll last us quite a bit, and especially if I want to make some other buildings out of wood. Yeah, I have well over two stacks. So what I think I'll be doing is I'll be building my house here, and I'm kind of thinking something a little bit more fantasy-inspired. So you probably were watching during that time lapse and wondering where was I going over those course, the course of that 30 seconds? Well, oh, I forgot about cobble, so I had to make a kind of small little cobble D deposit over there, but I'm getting the general shape of the house, which I'm really happy with. And you can see that from the side here, I've added some little buttons. And I don't know if I'm going to go more Nordic or more like classic fantasy, but I've created like a, a, a neat little window shape. But I think something's missing here, and I don't know what it is. Uh, you know, if, if you guys, if I'm, if I'm not done or having ideas right now, if you guys have any ideas in the comments of what to add to this house, please leave them below, because I'm at a... Loss right now. Complete loss. Oh, Endermen teleporting are the scariest things. Anyways, I'm going to get, or at least try to get, uh, some more cobble for this other part of the house, and we'll come back to that. All right, goodbye! Okay, so I've actually made so much progress, and I'm actually really happy with what I've done here. And I'm also so, so, so happy I decided to choose on this area rather than over by the sea, but, like, oh, I made the roof nice like this and I'm unsure if I want to change the roof color but I probably will later but I really like it as like a temporary starter base but I kind of went with a classic fantasy slash Nordic look and I'm thinking we have like a big window in here kind of like a cathedral area and we could even connect uh, the house into a cave or something but yeah we'll have a big window view and there'll be paths and stuff but oh I am super duper excited for this and i know i haven't been getting a lot of resources i've just been getting house resources and trust me i think next episode is when we're going to be grinding all right i'm gonna check in back with you guys when the rest of the house is done see you then all right so i'm back again and i, I kept going back and forth from the uh, valley over here back and forth back and forth and it, the roof does look off compared to that it, it looks like 
kind of an off-brand color, and so I think I am going to replace it. And I did notice also while coming up here that there are some... Are those spruce trees? I think they're spruce trees. So I think I'll probably tear down the roof and, as I was saying, I'll replace it with spruce wood. But other than that, it's taking a great shape. It, it, uh, it looks kind of trippy now that I'm looking at it. Almost like a Stargate. Uh, but if you go in here, I had something very special. Sir Rufus! Oh, he's got a little sign and everything. Oh, he is just so adorable. Dig and sand, dig and sand. Gotta make glass so I'm digging sand. Digging sand, dig and sand. I gotta get glass so I'm digging sand. Okay, so I moved the furnace and was smelting the glass and I got the first 16 panes and I wanna see how this looks up here, because I think this will be the telltale sign on kind of... Okay, it's a bit hard to tell up here. All right, big reveal. Three, two, one. Oh, that, that looks, that looks pretty good, actually. I actually really like that. Okay, so what I'm thinking now is the top floor will probably be our storage area. We're definitely gonna need a bigger storage area once we get our iron farms and all that stuff in. But right up here will temporarily do. In here, bed, a furnace, and I think I'm gonna probably mine out this area so we can get a bit of a super smelter going on eventually, because that's gonna be something we need early game. And another thing I didn't even consider is food. I have been living off apples from the trees I took down in the opening timelines, and I cannot tell you how many times I've died during this episode running away from zombies and skeletons and losing all my hunger and not being able to run away. Nope, I was correct. This is everything done now. Beautiful starter house. I'm super happy with this. Oh, and as well, before I forget, have got to do this. Oh. Does not affect the glass. Huh. We will have to find something different then. So for the last little bit, I have actually something pretty special I want to do right now. Uh, remember how earlier I was mentioning that cave after all the creepers and zombies blew me up? I want to go explore that right now. I've been doing a lot and a lot of building and resource collecting. Oh my... Wow, that's a lot of bats. And I want to explore this. And I know there's iron and different things. And I want to see maybe... Maybe there's a spawner. Oh, I forgot the Sir Rufus sign's still there. Let's go in and run past all of these guys. I was just walking by and... There's, there's just a pig in here. Cave pig! Cave pig! Oh, he look. oh. He looks a little occupied, let's just leave him be. So the other side of that cave was pretty short, which means you're gonna have to go into the mob infested side. Oh, oh good no, here we go, here we go. Come on, come on. Creeper, no, no! Oh, I really should have invested in the shield. Yes, burn! Yes! Attack! Attack him! Attack him! Come on! Come on! This is... That is just a massacre of mobs. Oh, there it is! Come on. No! 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 And I'm dead. Okay. Got my stuff back. Skeleton's dead. No, that was the entire cave, I guess, but it's good that I've cleared this out, and there's still some coal I left in, which I'm gonna harvest later, but all in all, we got 47 iron ore, which means we can get armor, which means we can finally get a shield, which will help us with those pesky skeletons, at least for just the starting game. Oh, I am right in the block. And... I can finally make those chains and the lanterns, which I really want to have to complete our base. All right, so there is one more thing that I think I should tell you guys about, and that is a list. Just a list of things that I want to achieve currently in my head. And 
I'm calling it the Master Bass List, because I don't have another title right now. So, number one, Change the Roof Wood, which she talked about. Number two, Farm... F some, some Farm for Food. Three, Mount Mob War. And that is going to be a little project I'm not going to tell you guys about yet, but it involves a lot of stone and is going to be super duper amazing and fun to do. And number four, resources, and five, a nether portal. We are going to need to get to the nether eventually. I'm afraid, guys, that's all the time we have today, but thank you so much for checking out this episode, and don't forget to subscribe and click that bell if you guys want to see more of this content, because I will be uploading this survival series fairly regularly. So, thanks guys for checking out, and goodbye!